Hi guys, this is the um, hello video for Wednesday. Sorry, I'm all messed up on my days. Wednesday, April 14th, 15th. Wednesday, April 15th, sorry. Um, and today, it's just a reminder to check the FCS website. I updated it with the homework for today. For the most part, all it is is just continue with the homework that was assigned on Monday. There aren't any videos or anything today, which is nice. Um, and yeah, just keep going. You guys are doing great so far. Almost all of you have gotten your work done. Some of you are a little behind. I'll be sending out emails probably later today, um, letting you know if you're behind on homework. So be looking for that. If you don't get an email, that means you're doing great and you are completely caught up. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward this week. Um, but I am going to go through the podcast um, of the week again. If you do not want to listen to the podcast, you do not have to. Um, I just think it's fun and I know some of you guys like watching these. So that's kind of the plan. So this week's theme is Babe Ruth. Um, and the guy who does the podcast kind of went through a little bit of a background on Babe Ruth, which is good because I really don't know that much on Babe Ruth. And so probably some of you are the same. First of all, he played baseball for 22 years. Um, he ended up later dying of cancer of the esophagus, which we're going to talk about in one of the stories a little bit. He was known as a famous slugger. He played for the Red Sox, the Boston Red Sox and the Yankees. Um, and when he was traded from the Red Sox to the Yankees, they actually called it the curse of the Bambino because um, the Red Sox did not win a championship like the World Series from 1918 to 2004 but when he went to the Yankees the Yankees became the winningest team in um, baseball and they had not before then they were not that successful before he was there he was kind of like a larger than life character it was almost like he was a cartoon there are tons of stories about him which is why um, he can do a podcast on him and have plenty of stories um, to tell about him because there are a lot so these are the three stories um there's quite a bit of information on them, especially because I don't know much about Babe Ruth. I couldn't, you know, just pull it up from memory. So story number one is Babe Ruth hits a no-hitter. Story number two, he smokes while smoking. Um, by the way, little warning, there is some cigar smoking in the stories. Um, and story number three is Babe Ruth rises from the dead. So I'm going to just go in order so it's less complicated um, the kind of crazy thing is all three stories actually take place against the Washington Senators who played in Washington, D.C. Um, and in some of these, he's playing for the Red Sox and some he's playing for the Yankees, just so you know. All right, so story number one, Babe Ruth hits a no-hitter. Um, Babe Ruth was a pitcher for the Red Sox at this point in time. The crazy thing is a lot of times pitchers in baseball are not very good at hitting. Um, and Babe Ruth, that was not true for him. He was a great hitter. Um, and a great pitcher. He won three World Series as a pitcher for Boston. Um, and the big thing about him is he kind of said and did whatever he wanted. Um, and okay, sorry. I've had a moment of like, wait, which story is false? Um, so anyway, he, um, at this point he's playing for the Red Sox. Um, he's pitching. Um, a big thing about baseball that you need to know is a no hitter is when, um, no one gets a hit, but you might have like where somebody gets on base because of, um, like balls and stuff like that, but it's like no one actually gets a hit on the ball. Um, but a perfect game is like no one gets on base at all. Okay. There's only been like 23 of them in all of baseball. I think it was 23 or 24, um, and all of baseball, like in the history of baseball. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. So this game takes place on June 23rd of the 19 of 1917, they were playing the Washington Senators in D.C. Um, and a lot of times back then, like the pitcher who went in, he would pitch pretty much the entire game. That's different to today. They kind of rotate pitchers in and out quite a bit. Um, and so Babe Ruth is pitching for the Red Sox. And the first hitter comes up. His name is Ray Morgan. Um, and he throws the ball and they call it a ball, which is where it's like not a perfect one for the uh, the hitter to hit. Um, the second one, he calls it a ball. The third one, it's called a ball. Now at this point, Babe Ruth is getting angry because he thinks this guy is nuts. There's no way these are balls. They're straight across the plate. I was like, what's that thing called? See, I'm terrible at baseball. Um, and he just doesn't think it's fair. And then he throws the fourth one and it is another ball, which means he walks in, which means he gets on base. 
So he walks him, he gets on base. Well, Babe Ruth walks to the home plate and just yelling at the umpire. Um, he is mad. He doesn't think it's right. And he just starts talking junk. Like, he just starts yelling at him, um, and the ump threatens to throw him out. Um, and Babe Ruth says, throw me out, and I'll punch you in the jaw. Well, of course, <laughs> the umpire throws him out. Um, and so Babe Ruth comes running at the plate. And his catcher for the Red Sox tries to stop him, but he doesn't completely stop him. And Babe Ruth hits the umpire in the jaw, or in the ear, sorry. And he knocks him to the ground, uh, and then he is kicked out of the stadium. He's fined $100, which doesn't sound like a whole lot. It wasn't, like, a ton back then, but it is, you know, a good amount of money. Um, And so he's kicked out of the game. Now that's kind of like, wow, that's a crazy story, but there's more to the story. So they bring in another pitcher. Remember, there's only been one batter so far in this game, and the pitcher comes up. I don't, I didn't write down his name, sorry. And he throws a perfect game. No one gets on base. No one hits the ball. Um, there are no, like, there aren't four balls where they, like, walk a player. He gets a perfect game, except because Babe Ruth's first player ended up going to first base, it doesn't count as a perfect game. It gets counted as a no-hitter instead. Um, so the relief pitcher gets credit for it, but Babe Ruth also gets credit for a no hitter, even though he got kicked out after the first game. So Babe Ruth hits a no hitter, even though he's out of the game. So that is story number one, kind of a crazy story. So story number one is hits a no hitter. Okay. So story number two, <clears throat> this is the one I'm very sorry. It has to do with cigars. Um, and the story is Babe Ruth smokes while smoking. So the thing about Babe Ruth, and this is very famous, is that he was known to love cigars. There were rumors that he smoked four to five of them every day. And you might be like, oh, that's so cool. But remember, he dies from cancer, and it's esophagus cancer, which means that it was almost 100% caused by his smoking. Um, now, the thing about Babe Ruth is he was always looking to make more money because back then, like today, baseball players get paid tons of money. Um, he actually said like the number one baseball player right now gets like 40 million a year. Um, back then, um, Babe Ruth was the highest paid player. This is when he was playing for the Yankees and he got paid $80,000 a year, um, which today is like one point something million dollars. So it's not like comparable at all, um, to what players today are getting paid. Um, so he was always looking to make money. So he decides to endorse this cigar company called White Owl Cigars. Now, these were, like, really cheap. Um, it's still a company today, um, and they just weren't good. Um, and so, um, yeah, that was his endorsement, and he also loved to gamble. So, on May 6th of 1922, they were playing a game against the Washington Senators, and one of the other players bet him that he could smoke one cigar every inning. And I don't know that much cigar about cigars, and hopefully you don't either, but they take a lot longer than, like, cigarettes to smoke. And so, um, people, um, you know, you shouldn't be able to smoke one in an inning. Um, but this other player bet he couldn't do that. So Babe Ruth during the eighth inning, um, the Yankees were nine and oh, but he didn't quite finish his cigar before it was his turn to go to bat. So he goes up to the plate with it still in his mouth. Gotta flip the page. Um, he like finishes it. He, um, and then he goes on to hit a home run, um, which makes the score 10 and 0. And then they end up winning the game because of his hit. So that is story number two. Um, Babe Ruth smokes while smoking. So, because he obviously did really well while still smoking. So he did win the bet, by the way, um, because that was the last cigar he needed to smoke. Okay, then we have story number three, which is Babe Ruth rises from the dead. Um, so. Uh, he, when he was traded to the Yankees, he became, the Yankees became the team to watch. They would sell out, um, kind of wherever they went because everybody wanted to go see Babe Ruth. Um, and he was kind of the draw of New York. They ended up building in 1923, a brand new stadium so they could fit all of the fans that were coming to see them because they used to actually just share, um, a stadium, I think like with a polo team or something. I don't remember what he said, but um, anyway, so they shared a stadium that 1923 was also the year that they won their first championship. Um, and so they were on a trip for baseball. And again, this is kind of crazy. All of the stories are taking place against the same team on July 5th of 1924. They were again playing the Washington senators in DC. It was a double header that day. Um, during the fourth inning, 
a player named Joe Judge um, hit the ball and it went right down the right field line. Now, it was very different back then. They don't have all the safety measures in place that we do. And they had right next to this, like a foot off, they had a concrete wall that was six feet high. Now, Babe Ruth goes to try to catch this ball. He sticks his hand out and he slams right in to this wall, like right into it with all of his body weight. And he lies like motionless on the ground. Um, so the trainer for the team um, goes and runs out. The entire crowd is just silent because they don't know what's happening. And they get a bucket of ice water. Um, they also get smelling salts and they're trying to revive him and nothing is working. Um, everyone is starting to like whisper, you know, Babe Ruth is dead, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And it takes a full five minutes. Um, nothing seems to be working. And all of a sudden he comes to, he's not sure where he is. He doesn't know what happened. Um, they're trying to explain it to him and they say, we need to go, you know, get you checked out and go do x-rays and stuff. And he refuses. He doesn't even want to leave the game. He decides he's going to stay in the game. Um, he plays the rest of the game. Um, and we find out later that he actually had a severely bruised pelvis, um, possibly broken, um, they can't 100% say that because our x-rays are better today. Um, but it's severely bruised. And that's like in your hip area. It would be very uncomfortable if you can imagine to like run and stuff with that. Um, and at the end of the game or towards the end of the game, like after this, he hits an almost home run and he scores with this limp. Um, and it just continues to play. He played that game and the next game on the same day for the doubleheader. Um, and he ended up, yeah, being fine in the end. Um, he obviously had some bruises and stuff, but so those are the three stories. I'm going to go through the titles again. Hits a no, Babe Ruth hits a no hitter. Babe Ruth smokes while smoking. Or story number three, he rises from the dead. All right. So I'm going to tell you one of them that is not, or one of them that is true. Not, not true. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to give you a second. Think about what you think is true or false. All right, so story number three, Babe Ruth Rises from the Dead is actually totally true. You can actually look that one up online and kind of see um, the story of him like laying on the ground where they thought he was dead. All right, so we have Smokes While Smoking and Hits a No-Hitter. Hopefully you guys are... Hold in there. I had no idea on this one, so I thought he rose from the dead. That was false, but it was true. Okay, story number one, Babe Ruth hits a no-hitter is also absolutely true. Like, he was known for his fiery temper and doing whatever he wants. So, story number two, the smokes while smoking. While it probably could be something Babe Ruth would do, um, he did not do that during a game. There are even, like, pictures and stuff of him smoking cigars during games. But we don't have any truth to that story. So that story is completely false. So I hope this, I don't know, I don't know if you guys are still liking these. I guess let me know if you still want me to do them. I love listening to the podcast, so I know some of you do. Um, but yeah, I hope you got it right. Um, and if not, keep going. Um, I don't know what next week's is, but um, I still love them. Um, I think for Friday, I'm going to show you three pictures of Taylor Poe, and you guys get to vote on the winner. Um... Because, yeah, I had three people submit who, what they think Taylor Poe looks like. So, um, yeah, well, I hope you guys have a good day. Let me know, again, if you have any questions. I'll be online from 9 to 3. Um, I do have to run to school, but I will still be able to answer. It just might take me a little longer first thing in the morning. But other than that, I will be online all day if you need help. So have a good day, and I will hopefully see you guys super soon. Bye.